Got your water? Good. So do I. All right, it is time to get going. I'm Brian Yates with Locomotive Coaching, and we have another workout today. You're going to need a chair or a bench or something that you can step up on. I'm going to hold some light weight for one of the moves. You don't have to do that. This workout is just designed like all the other workouts. It's meant so that you can do it anywhere you are uh, and with whatever equipment you have available. So if you don't have any equipment, that's fine too. But this one, uh, if you want to use equipment, I've got some lightweight and I've got uh, my chair. So let's start with a little bit of hip mobility work first. How do I want to do that? You know what? Let's do this. We're going to come into some cat-cow pose and we'll get the timer going here. Good. And spread your thumbs and fingertips. And I'm going to come over here at an angle. You just drop your belly, raise your eyes, lift your tail, and then round your shoulder blades. Down and back. Down and back. Down and back. The point is we're just trying to add some mobility into the spine. Five, four, start squeezing your abdominals in towards the midline of your body. Three, two, and one. Good. Now, take your hips and just drop them over to the right. I'm going to come back just here. That's better. Drop your hips over to the right and just hang out here. So we're going to go into a series that's called flossing the hips. So you might just feel a little stretch on the outside of that right hip. And while you've got that stretch, I want you to move, want you to move forward and back. Five, four, three. Two, one. I'm going to do this from the side so you can see it's not that much of a range of motion. Keep your knees under your hips, and I'm just pushing my hips out. All right, now we're going to do that flossing move. It's five. So you're really just moving maybe a range of five to seven inches. Four, three, two, and one. Open up those knees, and we're just going to come down to your inner thighs and hang out, just wake up those inner thighs. And forward and back, again, a range of maybe five inches, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna fold the back of my knee, uh, my mat over so that we can create a little bit of Padding for my knee. Curl your left toe under, press it into the ground. Take your right foot forward. Get your what your knee, right knee, over your right ankle, pressing those left toes into the ground. And you're just gonna drive that left hip flexor forward. You're gonna feel this down here, that left quad. And you're gonna clench and release your left glute. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to go to the other side. Curl those left toes under. Come forward. Scoop your pelvis forward. Bring your left knee over your left ankle and just hang out here. You're going to feel this in that right quad. Pressing those right toes into the ground. Everything's active. At your foundation on the left foot and right foot and clench and release that right glute 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, come on up to standing. Set yourself up into a sumo squat pose. Toes pointed out. Heels are pretty much under your shoulders. So come on down into that crouch. I'm going to hang out here and let your low back release. Your feet should be flat on the ground. So if your heels are coming up, that's an indication that you want to uh, work on adding more flexibility up and down the back of your body, including your calves. Grab under your toes and press up Ooh. and pull yourself back down. So we're just waking up the back of our body. Let's do this eight more times. Seven. Six. Five. Really pull on those toes. Four. 
three, two, one. Roll it all the way up to standing. Come on, maybe back into a standing back bend. All right, you might be feeling it in your low back a little bit. Pull your hips, push your hips forward, and big hip circles. Big hip circles. Five, four, three, two, and other direction. Squeeze those legs from the ground up. Four, three, two, and one. All right, slide your right hand down, your right leg, and come back up. Push your hips out to the side. Really wake everything up. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's do some trunk twists, get into the low back. Five, squeeze your abdominals in towards your navel. Four, three, two, and one. Come on down to the mat. Plant those feet. Engage those abdominals. Head back. And press through those heels into the ground to lift your hips up and back. Up and back. Really drive those heels into the ground. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, and cross your ankles, roll yourself up, all the way up to standing, and make little arm circles. Bigger, 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 working out those crunchy sounds, and let's do it to the other side. Bigger, bigger, and good. Drop your chin to your chest, roll your head and neck around your shoulders. Uh, working out those crunchy sounds in other direction. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's do 30 seconds of jumping jacks in three, two, one. Straight arms. Touch your hands at the top. Three, two, and one. Just had a little interruption, but now we're back. All right, open up that stance. Toes pointed forward. We're gonna go side to side with an alternating leg with alternating side lunge. So come back. Lift that until sit back on your right foot, right ankle, point your left toe, and then we come over. Three, two, and one. All right, let's jog in place. And pick up those knees for 15 seconds, high knees. And butt kickers. All uh, right, good. And side shuffles.
And come back to butt kickers. And good. All right, come on down. We're going to go rotating side plank. So go to side plank and roll to the other side. So start on our left and roll to the right. And begin. Roll it over to the other side. Stack those feet. Spread those thumbs and forefingers. Pulling off this cliff back here. Uh, three, two, and one. All right, it's time to grab your chair, small weight if you've got it, or bench or whatever it is you're going to use. Let me grab a drink of water here. Okay, so our first A series, our A series, we're going to do, we're going to do alternating side steps up onto the chair. So we'll come up and over and back. I'm going to hold maybe 10, 15 pound of weight for this. You don't have to hold anything. Uh, if you just are working on the leg strength part, step up is fine. That's great for agility and mobility as well. And just control. So grab that. We're going to do Actually, I think what we'll do is 12 on the left, sorry, 12 on the right and then 12 on the left. That's what we're going to do. So 12, 12 up and then 12 on the other side. So I'm going to hold my weight. I just took this out of a sandbag and step to the side of the chair and we're going to come up, place that foot up, one, come back down. So you really press to that heel, two. And if you step a little further away from the chair, you really have to dive into it. Three, four. Let's come back a little bit. Five, six. Keeping my abs engaged, six more. Seven. Eight, get nice and low into this, sink into it. Nine, and 10. All right, let's go to the other side. And step into the side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pressing through those heels to come up, ten. 11 and 12. Good. All right. We're going to do, we're going to do, uh, let's do 20 dive bombers actually. So that's what I wanted to do. I'm going to come back down, spread those thumb and four fingers, slide it back into that down dog. You're going to look forward, bring your elbow close to your side and roll through chest close to the ground. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, 
eight, nine. Keep it even between uh, left and right side, 10. Let's do 10 more. Look forward, roll forward, 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. <sighs> Two, and one. All right, we're going to get onto the floor, onto the mat, belly down. We're going to come up onto our navel and squeeze our shoulder blades back. All right, so come up onto that navel. You're really extending from the tip of your toes through the crown of your head and getting some loft. So we're going to do 20 of these. Here we go. Come on down. Here. We come up and back. Squeeze those shoulder blades. One, two, three, everything's active. Four, five, six, seven, eight, squeeze those glutes. Nine, ten, ten more. Ten, uh, nine, legs are active. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Abdominals are active. Low back. Three, two, and one. All right. Back to the top of that series. Back to those alternating leg step ups. Bringing, bringing the chair back into the workout. Step it back a little bit. I'm going to grab my weight. I'm going to start this time on my non-dominant side. So I noticed my left side was weaker. I want to start with it this time. And here we go. One. Two. So I step my foot up. I sink into it. Three, and press to that left heel. Four. You want to feel this in your glutes as well as your quad. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Watch where you plant your foot. I got a little sloppy there. 10, 11, 12. All right, we come to the other side and begin. 12, 11, 10, abs are active, protecting your back, squeezing towards the midline of your body. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Moving that chair out of the way. We're going to get in two dive bombers, 20 of them. Let's go from the other side this time. So, spread those thumbs and forefoot and those thumbs and fingers. Come on back into down dog. We're going to roll forward and 
chest and elbows, chest close to the ground, elbows close to the body, and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four. <sighs> Two and one. All right, let's do those snow angels. So I'm going to come on down onto our bellies and engage isometrically every muscle on our body. Come up on our navels and really a lot of shoulder blade work here, a lot of work into that low back. So come on down, forehead down, exhale, come up, squeeze everything. One, two, Three, four, five. Abs are active. Low back is active. Spine is active. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Try not to clench the jaw. Keep those legs active. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. I think I'm going to change this workout up just a little bit from what I had in mind. I'm going to go back through that series one more time. Let's just get some nice, good extra strength going. Invest a little bit more in this series. So grab your chair, grab your weight. And I'll start from the right side this time. Pull my chair back a little bit. So that the chair's on stable footing. Grab your weight. And look to the side. Come on up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm keeping my core active here. Twelve. And my core is not just my abs, it's my low back, spinal muscles, even hips. All right. 12, 11, 10, 
nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. All right. Move that stuff out of the way. So, 20 dive bombers. Let's get this chair out of the way. If only I had a proper production assistant. Who wants to be my production assistant? And look forward. We're gonna roll forward 20 times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, even, keep it even between left and right side, three, two, and one. All right, down for those snow angels. All right, down 20 snow angels. Remember, everything is active. Low back, spinal muscles, glutes, legs. Everything's active. You want to keep your chin and face soft. You don't want to crane your head back too much. So try and keep a straight line between the base of your spine and the crown of your head. All right, a lot of shoulder work on this one. And arms forward. Exhale. Come on up. Squeeze every muscle in your body. Go. One. Two. Three, four, pointing through my toes, five, six, squeezing the muscles around my kneecaps, eight, nine, ten, contracting my calves, ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, that is it for the A series. Now we're going to move into a B series of core. Not that we haven't been doing core, because we have. So we're going to do a core series of butterfly crunch, Pilates scissors, plank jacks, 
And I think we're going to add a burpee into that. A burpee, because that's nice total body work. So we'll do that. Um, all right. So let's hop on back. We're going to do this one for time. So we'll do each one for 45 seconds. All right. 45 seconds of butterfly crunches, Pilates scissors, and plank jacks. And burpees. So onto your backs. Butterfly scissors. Put the or oh, sorry, butterfly uh, crunches. <clears throat> Soles of your feet come together, so you feel that stretch in your inner thigh. Roll your chest off the mat, chin off your throat, and go. Exhale. Reach for those toe tips. One. Two. Squeeze those abdominals towards your navel. <sighs> Active arms here. 15 seconds. And we're going to move into scissors. So scissors are, you lift that leg, reach behind it, drop it. And as you're bringing that right leg down, you bring your left leg up. A lot of abdominal work. Squeeze the small of your back into the ground. And keep your chin off your throat. Begin. Really engage those abdominals. Squeeze that low back into the ground. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to get into a plank, and we're going to do basically jumping jacks, but just the leg motion. In three, two, one. Squeeze those abdominals. Keep that back active. Keep that spinal muscle active. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Uh, I'm gonna grab my weight, my little semi sandbag for the burpees. So if you want to add weight into your burpees, you can do that. I'm gonna add a bit of a shoulder press into this. So I will it will push up, and I will add a shoulder press. See how that goes. Three, two, one. Come on down. Come on up. Really tiring out those shoulders today. You may not want to add the jump. If you're throwing weight, uh, you might just be happy coming up into a press up to your tiptoes. Uh, All right, come on down. Butterfly crunches. Three, two, one, begin. Keep those shoulder blades off the mat. Relax your jaw. Exhale forward. Shoot through those fingertips. Reach for your toes. Ah. 
Uh, 15 seconds. And we're going to move into scissors in 10 seconds. Arms back. Five, four, three, two, one. Really reach behind that right leg. Pull your toes towards your face, pushing through your heels. Just keep those legs nice and straight and active, working the whole leg. Three, two, and one. All right, we're going to roll it up. We're going to get into plank jacks. So we'll get into a plank, and then we're going to do that jumping jack motion. And three, two, one, begin. Uh, hips down, keep them active, keep those glutes active. Squeeze them if you need to, 30 seconds to go. Uh. Uh. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, grab your weight if you're going to use it. If not, we're coming into burpees. So when you do these burpees, you're going to come up with a wide stance when you kick your feet up. Three, two, one. Feet go back. Push up if you can. Kick those feet wide. Come up for a push up to your tiptoes. Squeeze those calves on the way up. You can even make this a little juicy by coming down into a squat and then a push and then a press. Bring it up to your chest, knees, elbows to knees. Oh, forgot to get to the tiptoes. And down to the mat. Last round of these. When you do butterfly crunches. And begin. Get your shoulder blades off the mat. Exhale and reach. <sighs> Twenty seconds. Really push those soles of your feet in together. Keep those legs working even here. All right, legs go long. We're gonna move into scissors. So not super high intensity today. I mean, it may be for some. Wherever you are, that's fine. And arms back, exhale, go. <sighs> Squeeze those abdominals. Root the small of your back into the ground by scooping your pelvis up and forward just a bit. Ah. 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 
Three, two, and one. I'm gonna flip it over. Plank jacks for 45 seconds. Last two moves. We got plank jacks and and those burpee squat overhead press. Begin. <sighs> Keep those abdominals and full core front and back active and engaged. Keep them busy and working. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, I'm gonna grab my weight for the last round of these. So the nice thing about this sandbag is that it's unevenly weighted, so you have to compensate for stability. And go. <sighs> Bring it to your chest. Squat, press, tiptoe. <sighs> And that is it for the main set. Let's come down onto our backs. Hug your knees into your chest. Make little circles into the small of your back. We're going to massage it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Other direction. Nice little massage in there. Really feel your spine against the whole of the mat. Three, two, one. Let your right leg go long. Pull your right toes towards your face. Hug your left knee in down the side of your torso. Then take that knee across the body. Left arm extends out. I'll look back over my left shoulder. Bring that knee up. Both knees up. Hug them in. Take that left knee out. Pull your left toes towards your face, keeping that left leg active. Squeeze that right leg up and pull it over. Right arm goes back. Look back for a gentle spinal twist. I'm going to roll all the way onto my left side. Push myself up into a seated position. Squeeze the soles of my feet together. Cradle my shoes in my palms. Elbows out and pull myself forward. And roll, just roll into that. Good. Take your feet out, arms up, inhale up, exhale, and reach above your toes. Maybe this way so I don't have so much light on me. Three, two, one. Take that left foot over your right knee. Hook the outside of that right arm onto the outside of that left leg and twist. And release. And release. That is the end of another total body workout. We've done a lot. Uh, three sets of strength work, three sets of pure core work, and that is it. So 
You can use weights or not weights on that. In any case, this is a workout that can be used no matter where you are. So if you're traveling, if you're in a hotel room, if you are wherever. So that's it. I'm Brian Yates with Locomotive Coaching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for playing. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy.